Hello, party people. I've got that thrifting bug. I am actually at a local thrift store that a lot of you recommended to me. It is called, I forgot, Sunshine. What? I think it's called Sunshine Thrift Store. I've never been here before, but I'm excited to go inside because I've heard so many great things. So, you know what, let me first mention two things. Maybe two things, because I kind of already forgot one of them. <laughs> okay, so I did my closet clean out video, and now every time I go in my closet, I still don't even like what's hanging. I'm just like, I don't want to wear any of this. So I'm ready for like a wardrobe revamp. My second thing was, does driving make you feel like so small in the world? Like so many people are on the road, where are they going? Everyone has a different journey. Anyway, it's really random thought, but that's what I think every time I drive. Okay, let's go inside. Just walked in. Oh my gosh, she has a boatload. That's gonna be me walking out. So, ooh. okay, just walking by because I was literally right by the front door. All clothing. I love how they have the sign huge so you don't have to guess what's half off. Already I see something I love. Okay, so I see some hats. I am in the market for another baseball cap. I don't know what happened to mine. <gasps> Maybe a summer hat? I don't need one. Ooh, shoes and scarves ladies section over here oh this place is enormous i found these really quality keds they're like barely worn for just seven dollars and something cents they're not my size say and day but they have a bunch of kids shoes over there that look and feel brand new i'll take you on this shoe adventure with me oh my gosh vibe what else do we see anything oh the stripey shoes down there or strappy those look brand new. We got some boots. These are a total vibe. Love a good pair of Mary Jane. Sadly, these aren't my size, but they bring me back to high school. I used to wear mine every day at my job at CBS. These are really sweet. Isn't this a designer that won one of those like model fashion shows with Heidi Klum? Alfita Singh. I am dreaming about these. Obviously, they're not in my size, but someone is going to love them and take them home. Oh my goodness, if you are a size 10 shoe, they have all of the amazing shoes for you. These are darling too. A heel, ugh, I die, not anymore. Their entire back wall is filled with purses. Some of them are pretty unique. Uh, most of them are pretty basic though. I saw a lot of Vera Bradley. I cannot find, oh, okay. I was gonna say, I can't find a price for any of the purses, but they're $5 each. What? That may change my mind on a few of these. Even though I never change out my purses, the purse is probably the very last thing I need ever. Oh my gosh, wallets are $2? Is that a joke? Oh wow, maybe I can find a gem in here. How about over here? Ooh, Beer Bradley, two bucks. It might not be Beer Bradley. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, vintage. This is a cigarette holder. How funny is this? You put your cigarettes in there, you pack a ciggies, and then <laughs> and then your lighter over there and then some money oh wow that's bringing me back that is funny i found these two purses aren't they sweet i don't know if i want a purse or need one i don't even know why i'm still in this section but then i found this stone mountain aren't those expensive i don't know you guys it looks really nice quality five bucks this one back here is a total vibe I also saw a white Jessica Simpson bag. Well, I guess I'll just show you. Here, isn't that so nice? The like lace detail up top and it's huge for $5. Purses in my closet right now are like giving me a total side eye. Stop it right now. Does anyone remember these kinds of purses? Wow, that's bringing me back. I found this. I was like, ooh, the fringe is so cool. I don't know, some people are into that, right? I think it's a backpack. Uh, it's Victoria's Secret. I say what? Take a peek on this one. It is Jacqueline Smith. I'm just kidding. I have no idea who Jacqueline Smith is, but I found this one. Uh, I think this is vintage E-Spirit. Isn't that like a 90s brand? Do they still make stuff? I'll never know, but here it is right here waiting for you. They have a nice selection of dresses right here, but my eye is drawn up to the artwork up there. So like $19, that one's 40, Ooh, a little steep, but they are massive. Like that one is $13. Uh, yeah, oh my goodness, these frames are enormous. I'm not ready to sift through the clothing section, but I'm hoping I find something funky today. 
Something funky fresh. Ooh, like this. What? A dress, a jean dress all the way. I love when this happens. Like not only did one person buy it and donated it, two people or one, maybe twins, $4. <laughs> Deal. Oh, look at that. Love that detail. Wait, a third one. Oh, so trendy. So I'm looking in the robes and I came across this long john. Guys, $4 for this. It's giving me total like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory grandparents in bed vibes. I don't know if it was my size, I'd probably buy it. Oh, that nice. Nice, nice, nice. Again, why am I in the robes? Do I need a robe? No, but here I am, $2.95 for this one. It's like so silky and such a nice quality. It's Victoria Secret for $2.95. And it's super long. Oh, so luxurious. I am not that type of woman, but maybe I will be tonight. I'm more of uh, this type of woman. Oh wait, there's a C on there for Kimberly Whisk. That's loud. They have a section for girl clothes and boy clothes. It's pretty large. And then they also have a section. Uh, every time I turn my camera on, that noise happens. Okay, they also have all of these toys back here. Toys and games. Oh my gosh, a brand new basketball. Who knows if it's brand new. It's definitely not. Someone donated it. But they've got trouble. Oh, all the good games. Operation, pottery wheel, risk. I see apples to apples in categories. Two of my all-time favorite board games of all time. Hollabaloo. Oh my gosh. How much are these? I don't know, I can't figure out their tag system yet, but look, seven games in one box. They've got Legos for who knows, is it $12 and one cent? Like what's happening? $4 and 94 cents. Look at all those Legos. Someone left this amazing vintage Yahtzee game. Who needs a new one? I have no idea how, how much it is, but look, they left their like address label. I can send them a thank you note. Look how amazing this is. Like why does this make me happy? These old pencils make me so happy it doesn't make any sense look mr rogers neighborhood game i didn't even know this was a thing is this newer is it i don't know uh so i'm not sure it was ever opened should i keep it like this for resale value <laughs> it's like guess who but who's it <laughs> they have a really lovely selection of books over here and then all of the artwork up top i think right here are all of the recipe books so oh my gosh Publix recipe <gasps> oh, a whole collection of them. What is this? Kisses? Wait, is this a book or recipes? Ooh. Ah. How much is this? All right. Do we see anything else? I'm going to look again. Okay. Here are the book prices. Sweet. Oh, my word. I need to pull out my VHS player. They have a pretty nice selection of VHSs right here. Wait. Is that Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? No, it's something Christmas. I have Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I don't know why I'm looking for it. I'm not. Vibe. Vibe. A vibe. Total vibe. A vibe. Vibes. I can dig it. Vibes. 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 I don't really know what this section is. We're in the back. Tools, maybe. I Binders. I see a whole bunch of random stuff. Ooh, this calculator. <laughs> calculator. Ooh, it's vintage. Some organizing stuff. Hold on. I saw this behind me. $30 for that. It is quite large. Got some TV trays. Ooh, they have some mirrors over here. $20, $15 for the one in the back. Okay, I'm getting off topic. Not that my topic matters. Look what I found. A shake weight. Pretty sure this is a shake weight too. A gem. It's a great workout. They have some eyeglass cases, a bunch of sunglasses over there. They have, ooh, some monkey bar, jungle gym set stuff going on, who cares? Anyway, I wanna show you this rug. Ooh, ah, 20 bucks, boho vibes. Look at that stone looking one in the back. Look at this gem, 25. Wonder if it works. Okay, these all look like Dollar Tree organizing baskets. So I'm gonna peek on them and see how much they are here at the Sunshine Thrift. It's not as easy as I thought it would be. They should call this place the Sunshine. <laughs> they should call this place the Sunshine Jip. Look, 89 cents this person bought this basket for. They're trying to sell it up sale for a dollar and one cent. At least that's what I think that means. No sale. Bunch of Tupperware over here. And then look, the water bottles. Oh my gosh, they are color coded. I'm here for that. Kind of loving that green one. Let's peek on prices. So this one is 
Who knows? Ooh, $3.93. A deal. But look at this one, LuLaRoe. Is this company still in business? Does anyone still uh, sell LuLaRoe? I have no idea. Mm, free. Look at this one back there, the Yoga stainless steel bottle. Here's another one, stainless steel, the mint one, $1.91. What? I know a few people who could relate. Three bucks. Still exploring. Pizza stone, some trays right here. I saw a bunny mold, perfect, like a cake mold. Perfect for uh, Easter time. Oh, look, I think this one's Dora. Oh no, wait, what is that? A double bell pan. Wow, no one used it ever? This is what I wanted to highlight. I have no idea what it is, but it is Pampered Chef, so I know whoever bought it spent an arm and a stinking leg on it. What is it, like an ice, ice shredder? What do you put in here? I don't know, it's pretty nice. Dummy, take me home. Man, the soundtrack in here. I wonder if they sell that. I would buy it. It's so hard to find prices on things, but look at this thermos. Spider-Man. Oh, here it is, $4.94. Well, still brand new. This is 15 so I don't know. look at that flask. Fancy. I'm gonna have to get someone to explain the pricing. Does that mean a dollar and one cent? Look, it's Vera Bradley. It's very worn. Vera Bradley, nonetheless. This one's nice, the flamingo. Look, there's a gnome one right here. All right, let's move on. They have a bunch of lamps and what are those called? Small ovens, what are they called? Toaster ovens? Ooh, a crock pot right there. I'm gonna explore this section. Ooh, this looks vintage. Hold on, I have to peek. I have no idea what it is. Ooh, a touch-o-matic seal for seven. <gasps> is this a pasta machine? A pasta roller, you guys. A what, for nine dollars? It's a screaming deal. Is it broken though? I'm so tempted to buy that pasta maker or roller. Will I ever use it? Probably not. Look at that little boo. They have a couple tins. Ooh, a pamper chef, hold up. Wow, look how nice this is compared to the one I have. Oh my gosh, so fancy. All right, how much is this? Ooh, I dig it, 20 bucks. I wonder what the brand new cost is. Well, I just peaked, the anticipation was killing me. It is like $40 on Amazon brand new or eBay for 17. I love pieces like that. Wait, is that a honey pot? No, that's just like a weird design. Oh my gosh, it's only $4 for this lamp. Oh, I'm screaming inside. Look at the dog. I'm probably not going to buy this, but I do want to remember it for the rest of my life. So I'm going to take, oh my gosh, there's a bus driver in there too. <gasps> hey, goodbye. All right, how vintage are we going? Wait, they even sell light bulbs. This would be nice. Ooh, this is sturdy. That's what I was talking about. How vintage are we going, you know? Look what else I found. Salt lamps. What? How, how much? Oh gosh, it's so heavy. It is $9 and very heavy. You know what's funny? I came in here today and I was like, oh yeah, I'll just be so fast. <gasps> I think he needs to come home with me. Like, right? He's waiting for me. How much is he? Guess that $9. What the heck am I gonna do with him? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyway, I thought this was going to be a quick trip. Oh, happy spring. Oh my gosh. I am looking for some Easter decor. <gasps> they have Halloween out too. Oh, look, all these trophies. You can impress all your friends. Oh, softball trophy. Look at that one. Winner. I've donated all my trophies. Like, what do you do with them? Baskets down here. Nice, nice, nice. That's a nice little fruit basket for $6. All right, and then up here. Oh, I like that gentleman. The feather in his cap. Little Yankee over there. Uh, I think these are some really nice pieces that a lot of people come to the thrift store for. More baskets down there. Uh, candle holders, nice. I don't know why I'm actually considering this. <laughs> I just wanted to see how much it was. $10, a little steep for me, but I am kind of excited because it plays music. Bro, who would donate this? Happy birthday, Jesus. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Second coolest thing. Who still has scrapbooks like this? I know some of you do, <laughs> or your parents. <laughs> I just spent like 10 minutes looking at the books. I don't know why, I don't read. Oh, I didn't look at the artwork. Well, all right, done. <laughs> More down there, that waterfall, $3. Oh my gosh, all right, down here. They have, ooh, some magazines. Let's see uh, how old, oh my gosh, look, Frank Sinatra. Let's see how old it is. <clears throat> oh, all right, 98, not too bad, which makes sense. Okay, then they have a lot of plates. 
A lot of mugs. Some teacups I saw. Oh, I saw uh, platters down below. Ooh, and then some utensils. A whisk. Do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yeah. This is a special spatula. <laughs> Go balls. Okay, this rack only is ev everything's a dollar. Stuttering. Look what I found. Ooh. Ah. See if there's anything else in here that we like. Heart. Like it. There we go. There's a better view. Ooh, that's a nice black. Ooh, fancy schmance. All right, well, oh, man, look at this chase lounge. All right, this is their furniture section. Oh, look at this seat. Completely passed by it. This looks so cool. 95 buccarones. <laughs> okay, let's walk back this way. $60 for this dresser. That's a decent price. It's like, looks like it's solid wood. Let's take a peek. I don't know, does that mean it's good quality? I can't remember. Seems like it's good quality. Ooh, a toy chest for 35. They have bar stools for 25 a piece. This couch for 95, I think. <gasps> a beach umbrella. All right, I'll give you a peek on this, whatever's over here. Look at this gem I found, German pottery. And then I found this, such a vibe, right? How much is it? $3.93, so random. How do they come up with cents? Does anyone have change these days? Uh, but this was inside of it, so you know it's quality. Oh my gosh, you know what's on the radio? Okay, what else do we have? That's a pretty cool platter. Oh, get, do you hear the music? Since you've been gone. So good. Oh my gosh, such a classic. All right, Kelly Clarkson. I don't see. I need clothes. Let me just go to the clothes section. Can we do that? Cool, let's go. I'm sifting through the go back rack. It's where you can find some really good gems. This is Universal Thread. $4.95, it's a jumper. Not for me, but it's cute. $4.95, like, are you kidding me? Cute. Got to be starting something. Man, this soundtrack, I tell you, so good. Ooh, that's nice, the flutter sleeve. Oh my gosh, Bratz, are those Bratz dolls or old Barbies? <gasps> I love it either way. I have no idea, but um, yep, love it. People in Tampa are so fancy. Michael Kors jeans. A wide leg, so not for me, but Michael Kors here. There's Nine West. All right. They have all their nice jewelry right up front. You know, I don't care about any of that, but I did see these really old, like, vintage, well, I think they are vintage, Disney pins. Look at this one. It says Tigger. My mom would die over that one. Oh, my gosh. I Do I have a story for you about Disney pins? Maybe for another day, but... These are really calling my name. Look at all of these necklaces too. They're like giving me boho vibes. They're long necklaces. Oh my goodness, what is that? Is that what I think it is? If I knew the name, I would say it out loud, but my brain mm, doesn't always work, so there we go. All right, so pretty. Ooh, look, they have earrings too. Lots of earrings. Ooh, St. Patty's Day, hi. Even more earrings over half. Earrings are $2 each pair. Now that is a solid price. What about down here? More jewelry. Did anyone collect McDonald's toys thinking that they would be worth a fortune when they grew up? I know my sister did. Here they are. They're all at this thrift store, all of them. 40 cents a piece. <laughs> Let's see if we can find anything cool. That's pretty cool. I don't know who that is. Ooh, Rainbow Dash. All right, let's see some of these still in the wrapper. This is where it's at. Buzz. Okay, I'm done. Oh, no, wait, I'm not. Oh, yeah, I am. I thought that was from a different movie. 20 hours later, I'm finally going to start sifting through some of the clothing section. Uh, definitely not the long sleeves. Definitely. Should I just start in the back? What is back there? It looks like fabric. And I don't know why I need fabric, but... Here I am. Anyway, <laughs> going straight for it. Ooh. All right, tablecloths maybe. Sip. Oh, curtains, I bet. I don't need curtains either. <laughs> Look at that mirror. <gasps> Look at that. Beauty. I don't know. Does that say 125? A yike. Uh, but worth it. That is gorgeous. Holy cow. 
This is so hippie and so cute. I love the detail on the sleeve. If you just cinch it in the waist with a belt or something, which reminds me, ooh, hold on, what is this? Oh my God, this stuff in here is packed toy, like a toy girl. Look at that sleeve. <laughs> All right, hold on, let me leave my card for a second. On the end cap of most of the aisles, they have belts, so many of them. Ooh, leggings, these are nice. $3.45, mm, no pockets, no sale. Look at that artwork up there. Look at this, I don't even know what it is. $20, is this like a vanity chair? Look how beautiful that detail is. I'm sifting through the jean section for the first time in my adult life and I found Armani Exchange. Oh, uh, what? Wowza. They're playing Whitney Houston now, people. Look at this brand, Cash. I remember going through that store in the mall and just thinking, oh, all the rich people are in there. Bought a dress from there once for prom or maybe a wedding. I don't remember. Anyway, look, what, what? Is this actual leather or pleather? I don't know. What else did I see? Oh, the limited, who cares? And then what's this one? Vonica Trump, a nice. Wait, I did see another one. What did I see? Calvin Klein, sweet. So I'm now in the pajama section. It's like 75 years later. Ooh, shorts, I missed those. Oh my gosh, flamingos? Wait a minute. Uh, one thing about this place, they do not categorize by size. Those might not fit my bum, we'll see. Uh, I saw Tinkerbell, who cares about Tinkerbell? Uh, and then they have a robe section right here. Ooh, so nice, right? Look at this. If I wore robes, and I'm thinking of getting this one, but it's like $3.45 or something, just trust me on it. Look, oh man, that's another thing. Everything falls off the hangers. It is beautiful. And then the sleeve detail. Oh my gosh, how can I leave this here? This one is giving me Bridgerton vibes. If it wasn't like totally see-through, I might think about getting it because it's $2.45 a cents. Like the 4th of July. Ooh, slips. I may need one of these. Anyway, Katy Perry's blaring. Ooh, lingerie. Ooh, look at that artwork though. Nice. Look at this gem. That's for a specific buyer. Oh, look at this gem. You are my lobster. Also, does anyone remember when I donated a, this top? Obviously, this probably isn't it, but do you ever wonder whatever happened to the clothes that you donate? <laughs> I do. Caraba, fiesta, forever. Oh yeah, now they're playing good old Lionel. All night long. I've been at this thrift store. All night long. Look at this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I might just give up, but I just have this left and then I've touched every clothing item in the store. Oh my gosh, can you even see what I'm sifting through? There we go, that's a little better. Anything you like? Yeah, me neither. Getting there though. There's a few gems in between all of this. When I said I didn't find anything, um, I was kidding. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's fun. I also have a handful. Whoops. What I do is I find an empty spot. So these are all of the clothes that I picked out. And this was like an empty spot where I could hang all of them and just sift through them one last time, make sure I want to try them on. And then I'll try them on. Yay. Oh my word, I picked this up. Isn't it darling? Um, I'm not going to try it on, but I, I just picked it up because I was on the phone and I wanted to show you guys. Capes are totally in style. I thought I would share with you the ones that I am passing on the second time I look at them. I don't know. They're just like, meh. All right. You know what I mean? I'm over the tie knot. This one's really pretty, but it has ruching on the back. And I just thought, oh, maybe it's like too young for me. Some skirts, some pants that I am real with myself. I'm never going to wear. This is really cute. And it's similar to the one that I just got rid of that I really, really love, but I don't know. And then this one, meh. And then this one, meh. 
Okay, these are the ones I tried on but didn't like. I liked the fit of this, but the stripes, I just couldn't pull it off. And this one, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I like them, but do I love them? This one, I didn't like at all. This one, I wish it was one size smaller. Oh my gosh, I love the pleating on this. That one was ugly. This skirt is darling with the, all the buttons down the middle and it's half off. Sadly, it was too big. Same with this, too big. Most of the things just, you know, too big, too small, didn't look right. Oh, highlighted item, trolls, nice. Too small, too big, too big. That one fit, but meh. Oh, this one did not fit, but it's very cool. Those shorts were like meh, and that didn't fit, sad. Oh shoot, this dress also didn't fit, but I loved it so much. I think it's a junior size. It was an extra large, but so I had high hopes, but um, it's still, like it was long enough, but the top just didn't look right. You guys, I had such a successful trip, not only at Sunshine Thrift, which is what I just showed you, but also I went to Salvation Army with my one of my daughters, Eleanor. A quick trip, but I got some really great gems. And then I went to Goodwill a few days before I went to Sunshine Thrift, which is uh, weeks ago at this point. But I shared a thrift haul with you, so if you haven't checked that out or want to see what I got at my thrifting experience, I will link that below. But I hope you enjoyed thrifting with me. I have had the itch like every day I'm like I wonder what's at the thrift store so I've had the itch to go back let me know if you enjoy these thrift shop with me videos and I will share more of them but until then if you want to subscribe put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time bye